I'm Karen and I'm a yarn addict and that I am this is my channel a yarn addict with Karen and on here I love to show y'all yarn when I buy it and then I love to show y'all what I crochet because I love 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 to crochet but I love 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 buying yarn <laughs> I think more but I do hope that y'all enjoy this, and uh, if you like seeing yarn hauls and then seeing, you know, things I make, uh, that's what I'm about, along with a little yarn talk, a little information on yarn threw in every now and then, and I had not forgot, I've got a whole video to do about cashmere yarn coming up soon. But today, we are talking about the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. And I really hated to do this video. I was gonna keep trying and seeing if I could adapt to this beautiful Burl's Hook, but I can't. <laughs> I started a big project which wouldn't have been, it's not that big. I started it Sunday, I guess, and haven't really worked on it that much. I'm working with the uh, Delilah, the Hobby Yarn, and I'm working, it's the colorway you know, I don't know the name. It's the colorway number one on their website. And hopefully y'all can see I'm just about through with this cape. And those are the beautiful colors that are in this. And I started this. I'm going to tell y'all the things that I like about this hook and the things I don't like about this hook. Oh. Uh, I started this and I knew that this is the shawl. And what I've done, y'all, I've worked off and on for the past several days and I've used the furl and I've had to go back every time to my cloak. The one thing I thought would be the worst part for me was going to be the end <laughs> that's marked <laughs> Can y'all take the end line hook where it's just straight down and goes up? I thought that was going to be a problem with this yarn because it's four strands of yarn actually that are not wound together. It's not plied. It's just four threads of yarn. But I found out that I really like the end line, especially with this yarn, because what it does is grab hold of all four strands and holds it. Where with the tapered hooks like the clover, it has a tendency to, you know, want, of course you can grab this and not get one on, just like with any hook. But I found out that that was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. That was going, I kept thinking, that's going to be the one big thing I don't like about that hook. It's just going to, you know, that's going to be terrible. But it wasn't. That was a real surprise to me. Uh, I like, I love how beautiful these hooks are. <laughs> They're gorgeous. But... I just can't want buying a hook just to sit and look at. I can buy yarn to look at, <laughs> but I want a wooden streamline um, pearl, and I hadn't, I just didn't use it before I got this hook because at first I thought. Yeah, Ken, that's what you need to do. Start working with yours and seeing, you know, if uh, I 
thought I had it right here, but once again, I don't. It's a wooden one just like this, looks just like it, and I believe it's even an eye hook, which this is. But then I decided, no, I wanted to, when Sandy at Crochet A started talking about this, I wanted to try the hook because I had never tried hurl, hurl, furls, not ever dreaming that I would win one before this one got to me. But I sat and, um, you know, then thought, I want my first experience to be with the traveling hook. So I waited. And maybe with a given amount of time longer than what I was going to have here, I may be able to work with my furls, which I'm hoping. But I'm going to tell y'all the main thing that just doesn't work for me and why I like the clover the best is when I crochet, I'm a knife holder, and when I crochet, I crochet way too far up holding the hook because I'm always grabbing my yarn, and if I'm holding it back here where most, I guess, you know, that's not comfortable for me when it's just the way I crochet. And that's the problem with the hook is just the way I crochet. It just doesn't suit me. The hook does have a very slick finish, and you would have to get used to that. These things I could get over if I could crochet with it. But uh, I just don't see, I mean, it will take some time. And I think with mine being a wooden hook, it's going to be easier for me eventually to learn to crochet with it than this one being such a slick finish. And I did hear someone say you could put lotion on your hand and, you know, it would grip better, but I don't know about that. I didn't try it. But still, I still crochet too far down holding a hook, and I've got <laughs> not that much, but I've got too much hanging out my hand gets all the way down to the top on this when it slipped and it just didn't work for me I'm sorry Sandy I wanted so much to love this hook but uh, I mean I love it I love it because of the beauty of it and I and I love this hook because so many of our crochet sisters have held this hook and crocheted a beautiful project I'll always remember this shawl because the furls did help me crochet it. I just couldn't crochet it all along. I was saw that I was never going to get through with it. Then I thought, well, go do a smaller project. And then I thought, well, I started about four smaller projects before this one. And I just couldn't get it to work out. And so when I saw that it was going to work better with the inline head, I thought, well, that might be what I can work with. But it was. So my review of the furls, even though it's a beautiful, gorgeous hook, it's just not the hook for me. I will... <clears throat> I say I wish it was, but then in a way, <clears throat> excuse me, in a way I guess I'm glad it's not because I'd be spending, <laughs> I'd have to be saving up every bit to order me a new one. <laughs> but they are beautiful. This one <clears throat> is beautiful, but uh, it didn't work for me. Uh, I appreciate y'all watching my video today. Uh, if you like this video, wish you'd give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I really wish you would consider subscribing. And then I really, really wish you'd go down below in the comment section and leave me a comment. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can't talk this morning. I've gotten my head stopped up again, once again. <laughs> but... No, as much as I wanted to love it, I didn't. But we learn. 
And like I said, because so many of our Yarny sisters have crocheted with it, I, I loved it. I loved being able to use it, at least trying it and finding out what I thought about it. So, but y'all know what I want y'all to do. <laughs> I always, always, always don't get mad at me because I don't like the pearls. <laughs> I'm just stuck with my clovers and I love them, so. But y'all keep coming back because I am going to be here. And I love you all. <laughs>